What's up everyone? Dem boys back at it man. This is gonna go ahead and wrap up our gun taste hill scheme. I'm just gonna give y'all three quick setups, so it's gonna be a simple quick video. Red zone play, max pro play, and if you're one who likes to like throw corners, roll out, throw corners, stuff like that, I'm just gonna give you another kind of a setup that's gonna counter that once you have the defense headed out towards the sideline. So let's go ahead and hop into that in-game footage. Alright, so for the red zone play, now mind you, you could run this play anywhere on the field. Uh, I would probably put the tight end on an out, would be the other thing that I would maybe change, especially if I'm running it out on the field or I don't want as much blocking. Uh, but anywho, X is going to go on an out, you're going to wheel route your running back, A will block, B will go, uh, will just be on a go. Then as you can see, we're going to go ahead and motion RB across, put him on a post, and smart route the post. If you cannot do that, just put him on a slant. In this footage, you'll see why I prefer the post. A, I have post flag elite, so I'm going to get a better route running bonus. But also, it's going to allow him to get behind the defense on the back line of the end zone just a tad easier. So again, your tight end could go on an out. I just want to make sure I have plenty of time. Uh, and you can see how he you know, gets behind the defense. But again, guys, keep in mind that is a play that can be run anywhere on the field. I just prefer to save that for the red zone so I can go ahead and get my touchdowns. So this is going to be our third down and long play. Uh, X, of course, we're going to run to the wide side of the field, so we flip it. X is a wild card. If I think they're in cover three or four, I put him on a go to draw that deep coverage over the top. If I think they're in man or cover two, I'm going to put him on a slant to pull that outside defender in and out of the way. RB is going to be a smart routed flag. That's the route we want to hit. Then we max pro, put B on a go. Uh, then we just go ahead and roll out and, and hit our, uh, our smart routed flag. Uh, what I did to get that rollout, guys, was I double teamed the end and I ID'd the tackle next to said end. So this one is going to be our Max Pro setup, and this is a universal Max Pro setup. This is designed to be able to beat any coverage type. Any, any, any. Doesn't matter. Man zone, anything. Uh, we're going to put X on a slant, Max Pro. Our B is going to go on a post, and B is going to go on a drag. Pretty straightforward. So this here is just going to be the way I like to counter uh, when folks really start to sit on my flag routes. So really this is a type of a concept you could use within anything. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go X, R, B on the post, A on the drag. So, and then, you know, be on a go. Really, you can see what we want to do is we want to get them going to the left, and then all of our routes go right. Uh, and we just want to pull the user out of position. All right, everyone, that'll go ahead and wrap this video up. And that'll go ahead and wrap up Gun Taysom Hill. Man, what a great balanced scheme within a great playbook. So you can really utilize this as a primary scheme or you know, as balanced to an existing scheme. So guys, what I've set out to do is find my next scheme. What's abundantly obvious after watching the Madden Bowl here is that you have to have some form of balance. And you want to, again, like we did with Gun Taysom Hill, have it out of one formation. I don't want you to be able to, to just sit and play run D, because if you know the run is coming, there's run D now. I don't want you to be able to just sit and pay the, play the pass, right? Because if you know the pass is coming, you can blitz seven or eight at me. There's pass D. That's what we know. That's what we're seeing. That's what's being reaffirmed through watching this, right? That's why Gun Taysom Hill's great. So now imagine if near close flex and or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, near close. And I form tight had a baby. That's what I believe I've found. So you aren't going to be able to sit and play Rundy, um, and I've got a great dive, a great stretch, uh, even a good toss in there. There's good versatility. Uh, if you do play Rundy, I mean, hell, there's passing attacks in here that, that will chop up straight past D, uh, you know, let alone someone playing Rundy. So you, you really, and it all is going to look exactly the same. It's all going to look exactly the same, so nobody will have any hint or clue. Uh, also, guys, really all you need is fast tight ends. You don't need abilities. I'm going to run post flag. 
on a few guys, but this is an offense that anyone can run with in any game mode. Um, it just does help to have fast tight ends. Anyways, guys, like, comment, most importantly, subscribe, and check us out over on Facebook at Madden Genius, just a community of people helping people with Madden questions. Peace.